it's Reed Hall here from Reed's Workouts. It's absolutely essential how you warm up as a volleyball player. It's pretty funny. Last year I was at this big tournament in Chicago where I was coaching. I saw a ton of different women's teams or high school age teams playing. It's hilarious how bad their warm ups are. I'm sorry if I say it that way, but I see all these static movements where I walk and I stretch my quad, I walk and I stretch my quad. We want to find better warm up exercise that combine movements together. And that's why in this video, I'm giving you three essential volleyball specific warm up exercises that'll help change your game. The first of the three warm up exercises is called inchworms. This is an amazing exercise for stretching our calves, our hamstrings. It's also an amazing glute and core activation exercise. It also helps warm up our shoulders as well. So I'm gonna get Sean here to demonstrate. He's gonna come down on all fours here into a high plank position. In this position, his abs are contracted, his glutes are tense, and his palms are under his shoulders. He's gonna slowly walk his feet forward, having a nice stretch all through here. You know, once you get up here, he's gonna stop and then slowly start walking his hands forward. As his hands move further and further forward, there's more and more tension over his abs. So keep the glutes tense, abs contracted, perfect posture down his back. Something to focus on, as Sean walks his feet forward, he's also pushing his heels towards the ground to get a nice stretch through his calves. In total, you should be doing your inchworms between 10 to 15 yards, which will take about 30 to 40 seconds to complete. The second warm-up exercise is Spider-Man lunge plus thoracic opener. So Sean's gonna demonstrate here. He's gonna step into a deep lunge with both of his hands, notice on the inside of his legs. In this position, he's gonna push his knee out to the stretch for his groin, pause for three seconds, and then push his hips all the way back, which makes a nice stretch through his hamstrings. He's gonna come back down and open up towards his knee side, get a nice stretch in his back. He'll then come back down Push through his heel, activate his quads, and step into the next lunge. Once again, a deep lunge, push knee out, stretch for his groin, then push his hips back, then stretch through his hamstrings and calves, back down, open up towards his knee. Okay, let's see him do a few more here. You're gonna do seven total of these on each side, so you should feel pretty warm after doing this one. It's a good full body mobility exercise. warm-up exercise is quad stretch to a side lunge to an overhead reach. So Sean's going to demonstrate. So first he's going to do a quad stretch, push his hip forward, just a small stretch here, then sink out into a side lunge. He's then going to create a platform, okay, and then this position, reach overhead, then push through this heel and come back. So he's going to do the same thing in the other direction. He's going to perform a quad stretch, sink into a side lunge, create a platform. So in this position, he's stretched through his groin, his weight's back through his heel, he reaches overhead and push back. So again, the quad stretch, sink into his side lunge with his glutes pushed back, weight through his heel, platform, then directly overhead reach, push through. Okay, you're gonna do six of those on each side.
parent of a volleyball player or a coach, then you need to check out the Volley Jump Orco programs. There's beginner to elite level programs that are set into progressive phases. This program takes you on a journey that leads you to an increased vertical, a physical, more injury resilient body, and just becoming a better, higher performing volleyball player. Go check out the Volley Jump programs. Once again, it's Reed Hall here. I'll check you later.